Have you been struggling on calculating your circle? You're confused, you don't know how to calculate your circle. You don't know anything about circle, but you really want to learn. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate your circle, step-by-step -step way to calculate your circle. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Precious. I create content like this that has to do with your body, the woman's body, trying to conceive, happy people, families trying to conceive, relationship lifestyle, videos that would help you generally. I create content like that. So today I'm going to be talking about how to calculate your circle yes most of the videos i've made on ovulation timing increasing your chances of having a baby boy baby girl and all of that it all boils down to your circle if you don't know your circle you're just you're going to be doing a lot of things wrong and a lot of people have messaged me to say precious how do i calculate my circle i don't know how to calculate my circle and most of the videos i've also made i've just summarized it to say you have to calculate from this time to this time that's how you calculate your circle. But today I'm going to be showing you how to calculate your circle. Without further ado, let's go straight into my work top. Hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to calculate your circle. And this is just a short video to help you calculate your circle. So this is my calendar on my screen, as you can see. I'm going to be showing you how to calculate your circle using the month of October 2023. Now ignore the year, but just we're just going to be looking at the month. Let's say that your, your period is five days and your period starts from October 1st, okay? Your period starts from October 1st and ends on October 15th. October 1st to October 15th is your days for your period, your days for your period. October 1st to October 5th is your days for your period and you have a circle of 28 days. I'm just going to use 28 days on average. But how do you know your circle if you don't know uh, if this is your first period? So what you need to do is to wait for your next period. You have to wait for your next period to be able to calculate your first day of your first period to the first day of your second period. That gives you an idea of what your circle is going to be. Now, like I said, if your cycle starts, your menstruation or your period starts on the 1st of October and ends on the 5th of October and your circle is 28 days, how do we calculate your circle? Now, let's start. We'll start from 1st of October to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, which is the last day of your period, okay? We'll continue counting. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 28 is a Saturday. 28 is a Saturday, which means that your next period is going to start on the 28th, meaning that you have what? You have 28 day circle. You have 28 day circle. So your period is going to start on the 28th. Now, let me use another month to calculate this. So because your period was in October 28th, okay, it starts October 28th. We are now going to start counting for your next period, 28 days. If we start counting, you're going to start from this 28th of October to be able to calculate when your next period is going to be. So let's count from 28th of October. We'll count 1, 2, so 28, 1, 29, 2, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine which is where my picture is covering so 5th of november 9 10 okay 10 is the in november 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 so your 29th day is the 25th, okay? And your 28th day is your 24th. Now, your period is going to start on the 24th of November. 24th of November is when your period is going to start. So from the 28th of October 
So 24th of November is 28 days when you start counting. So when you count from the 28th of October to the 24th of November, that totals 28 days. Therefore, your period is going to start on the 24th, which is 28 day circle. I'm going to do another example so that you'll be able to understand. Another example, I'm going to continue. Now, if your period comes on the 24th of November, let's count another 28 days and see where your period is or what day in December will your period happen. So if you count from 24th, you say 24th, 1, 25th, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Your 17th day is 10th of December. Let's continue. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So your 28th day is the 21st of December. 21st of December is your 28th day. Now, because it's your 28th day, it means that your period is going to start on the 21st of December. So the same thing applies for 20, a different circle, which is maybe 28, 29, 30. But for 28 day circle, the first day your period is going to start on the 1st of October, your period is going to end and it's going to continue on the 28th of um of that um, October, from the 28th of October, the next period is going to start on the 24th of November, okay? 24th of November, your next period is going to start. From that 24th of November, your next period is going to start on the 21st of December, which is 28th day circle. So 28th day circle. So there are some months that you probably have it aired twice, because it's overlapping between one month or the other month. I'm going to try to explain it further. So this is a picture of a typical 28-day circle, uh, 28 days menstrual circle. And I'm going to be explaining to you how to calculate your circle. So as you can see this picture on my screen, the picture is from 1 to 28 days. This is number 1, 28 days. So I'm going to be explaining to you what basically happens um, using a different um, calculation or using a different method. So between day one to day seven is your menstrual circle, is when you have your period and it's colored in red. Between day one and day seven is when you have your period and it's colored in red. Now, a lot of people have their period between for four days, five days, three days. Everybody is different. But this picture or this circle and calendar I'm using is taking it for 27 uh, days. Now, between day eight and day nine, that's when you have your possible time to conceive. But there's a chance that you're not going to conceive at that time because you've only just finished your period. But there's a possibility that you can conceive. Now, between day 10 and day 14 is ovulation fertile window. Remember, I always say that every woman has a fertile window of five days, five to six days. So day 10 to day 14, you're likely going to get pregnant because this is your fertile window. Some people have four days, some people have five days, some people have six days. Everybody is different depending on their circle. That's what you need to bear in mind. So from day 10 to day 14 is your ovulation period. What ovulation is likely going to take place? Now, day 15 to day 16, you can actually get pregnant at that time as well. Because remember I said some people get their and their, their ovulation and window is longer. Some people ovulation window is shorter. So there's a chance that you can get pregnant. Now, by months and day 16 of a 28-day circle, between 17, what happens is that if pregnancy does not take place, they begin to have a tickling of the lining. So the lining of your uterus begin to tickle and begin to get ready to shed, to remove, to go off. So you have to get rid of that preparation that happened for pregnancy to take place that it didn't take place. You have to get rid of it to not start another circle. So between the, month, uh, the day of 17 to day 28, your body begins to get ready to get rid of the preparation that, did, that happened and pregnancy did not take place. If pregnancy takes place, your period is not going to happen. 
But if pregnancy did not take place, what actually happens is that that lining that got ready for fertilization to occur, implantation to occur, we have to go off. And how does it go off of your body? It has to go off through your menstrual cycle, through blood going out of your body. And it takes everything as well. That's why when you notice during your period, you see some lumpy black things. Those are all the lining of your uterus, your uterine lining. Now, there are two phases in your cycle. Your cycle is divided into two, the follicular phase and the lethal phase. The follicular phase is when you have your period and your ovulation, and the lethal phase is when you get either you're pregnant or you're not pregnant. So when you're not pregnant, obviously you get ready for period. When you're pregnant, period is not going to happen. Now, how do you calculate your cycle? Again, you start from day one and start counting until you get to day 28. When you get to day 28, that is your whole circle because your next period is going to start on day 28. So the first day of your period to the first day of your next period is your number of circle. Let's say your period starts on 26, okay? So that means you have a 26-day circle. If your period starts on 27, you have a 27-day circle. If your period starts on 28, you have a 28-day circle. If your period starts even on the 29th, that is not on this calendar, you have a 29-day circle. Now, from that day that your circle starts or your period starts, you start counting again for a new circle. And this is the reason why sometimes your circle can change between sometimes you have 20 five days, sometimes you have 26 days, sometimes you have 20, um, 30 days, sometimes you have 31 days. Everybody is different. So basically, this is how you calculate your circle. From the first day of your period to the first day of your next period, I hope this helps. So guys, this is how you calculate your circle, like I said. If you have any question from this video that I've just made, I've, I've tried my best to explain it as much as possible, both for people who are seeing their period for the first time and people who are already having their periods. You just want to know how to calculate their circle. This is how to calculate your circle. The first day of your period, you start counting to the first day of your next period you can have a calendar either on your phone or, or somewhere in your room and just count the days so the first of your period you tick it off this is the first of my period then the first of your next period you tick it off this is the first of my next period then you count one two three four five six until you get to the the first day of your next period this gives you the total number of your circle have you gotten value out of this video? If you have any question at all, please feel free to ask me on the comment section and I'll be able to answer you. And if you've, if you've gotten value out of this video, I would like you to please press the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell. And also share this video to a lot of people. Now, before you go, there's another video that I would like you to watch and that video is about how to know the different cervical mucus that a woman releases at different times of the month and what they actually mean. I would like you to watch that video right now.